All right, Dawa Films. Uh, this is Symbolic responding to your video called Death Threats at the Oh So Scary Muslim. Uh, by the way, I, I, I agree with you that we should stand together against genocide, and I agree with you that we should stand against the destruction of innocent victims and I agree that we should stand together against the oppression of innocent individuals. I stand with you on that, uh, and I am allied with you on that. Um, this chain of videos was begun by a video that uh, Thunderfoot made called uh, South Park versus Islam. My response to that video, my internal response, was outrage. Uh, for a number of reasons. One, he begins the video by saying this time the Muslims are threatening get this, okay, the Muslims. This time the Muslims. He does not say a small group of extremists or fanatics. He generalizes to encompass and include all Muslims. Clearly, to me, prejudicial. Had he it, had he, instead of saying, this time the Muslims, if he had said, this time the white people, or this time the black people, others would, I believe, have, Im have immediately realized that they are confronted with racism, prejudice that takes the form of racism. Instead, this went unrecognized because he said, this time the Muslims, and it's very unfortunate that it has gone unrecognized. Uh, he then goes on, he shows a picture of stealth bombers, shows a picture of a child. Uh, he says, at the same time, he says that uh, ants, so he dehumanizes. Uh, and then he shows a picture of the bomber, uh, an image of the bomber, and calls it gods. Okay, It is the most arrogant video I have seen on YouTube, and I've seen many videos on YouTube. Culturally arrogant. Um, uh, he says, uh, he says in that video, your continued existence is entirely the discretion and goodwill of the giant, meaning either the United States or the Western world, and that it is all that stands between your being granted continued existence. It is a clear threat, and since he has included all Muslims and referred to Islamic countries, uh, he is talking about mass destruction, and innocent people would die. Innocent people have died, and many innocent people have died. So I was outraged at this threat against all Muslims. Now, I understood your video in the context of a response to that threat. When someone threatens such massive destruction, the tendency is to stand up and say, Halt! I will oppose you. I will not allow you to kill innocent victims and to destroy innocent people. I will stand against you and fight that. That's how I understood your video. And uh, I understood it from the, I understood the emotion to be, that was informing your video, to have been one of protection of the innocent and of compassion. Now your particular choice of words I, 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 I can't defend. Uh, but I look at your video in the context of a response to a threat of massive military action that would have destroyed many innocent people. And I see it as a response to that, a response to a threat to say, wait, you attack the innocent people, I will stand up and I will fight you know, to protect the innocent people. Um, I am extremely disappointed in the YouTube com community that they are blind to the arrogance and prejudice of that video. I understand the right to free speech. I myself would fight and die for the right to free speech. However, we cannot let that one value, we cannot let people to load that value with prejudice 
and let that escape by under the banner of free speech. The prejudice has to be opposed as much as free speech has to be protected. Everyone I know on YouTube is for free speech. But none of us should be for prejudice, whether it's racial prejudice or religious prejudice or prejudice of any kind, because that is dehumanizing and it is an attack upon freedom, just as severe as an, as an attack upon the right to free speech is. Uh, in, any, in any event, uh, Dawa Ali, um, I hear the compassion in what you say and I hear the noble intent to protect the innocent. Um, uh, I do regret your choice of, of, of words, um, but I see the context as a response to a threat. And uh, that's what I'm going to go on the record as saying. I'm sure I'll get a lot of uh, comments. I've gotten a lot of prejudicial comments, a lot of insults, a lot of racist comments. Uh, against Muslims, uh, well, racism is too narrow a word for it, but a lot of prejudicial comments um, against Muslims. And uh, it's really, quite frankly, ugly, uncalled for, and unjust, and reflective of how petty-minded this great age of reason is. If it were the true age of reason, we would have left prejudice behind us all over the world. Take care, my friend.